Hey folks, hello again and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video today. It's been a while since I've been on camera. We've had all those box openings. We've had all kinds of Magic the Gathering openings for, um, what was that, Modern Horizons 2 and so on and so forth. So today I have a couple of subjects to talk to you about. I will actually, in the third part of this video, be going over what's happening with uh, a basic uh, market analysis, my take on what's going on with prices of TCG games galore of every type. And um, also I want to uh, talk quite a bit actually in the middle part of the video about the calling, which has been uh, announced by Legend Story Studios, all these events happening all over the United States. But just before I get to that, I wanted to, uh, and I'll tell you also which one Josie and I will be going to, by the way. All right, but before we get to that, I just wanted to do, uh, speaking of calling, one more call to you guys. I have, right now we want to be doing some more Monarch Unlimited case openings with a guaranteed legendary. Now, if you've been in this, if you're, it's your first time, it's fine also. But if you've uh, participated in round one and you participate for a second time in a case opening, guaranteed legendary, you know how it works. We basically open a case and uh, four of you get six packs in each box that is in that case, right? You either get the first six packs or the next six, seven to 12 or 13 to 18 and so on and so forth. So everybody gets six packs from each box. That's what makes it fun. And we have four participants for each case break basically. So I'm uh, basically announcing, uh, making the invitation here to you. If you've been in it or whether you've been in it or not, if you want to participate, let me know in the comments section or send me an email i have i think five spots left for case break round two so uh let me know and by the way if this is your second time around i do have some promo um cards to give you rainbow foils right over here of each of the uh, four heroes of uh, monarch so that's uh, prism sir bolton levia and chain so that's that for the case openings we're restarting that uh, later on this week and into next week, uh, basically, I would like to do two or three more. I say I have five spots, but uh, that's basically for three case openings. It depends on the demand, obviously, and uh, we'll see about that. Now, all right, so let me get to the second topic of today. Um, I wanted to talk to you about, you know, how Legend Story Studios over the past has done things in terms of quali qualifying for the eventual national championships. It all starts at your local game store, right? They had the... Um, what were those, those called? The Armory events, basically, once a week uh, with COVID. They were probably not held in your area. But uh, anyhow, that was like level one of qualification and getting points in the point system. Uh, see where you uh, grade yourself in terms of uh, uh, leaderboard internationally. And so they had that. And then uh, came along the skirmish events. And um, then road to nationals, and uh, we're mo moving our way up. That comes and goes through the callings, which uh, happen in uh, most countries already. Uh, I'll get back to the U.S. one in a second. And then uh, that culminates with the national championships of each country. They're basically supporting in North America, U.S., Canada, in terms of national championships. I think in Europe, they have something like 13 to 15 countries and six in the Asia Pacific area. So each of these countries and these areas get national championships. And that will go to uh, eventually to the world championship. Obviously, these national championships world are invite only. Uh, you can make your way up there by uh, accumulating points and doing well and winning uh, local contests and road to nationals and so on and so forth. If you want more information about this, just go to the uh, Legend Story Studios uh, basic uh, web page. So it's uh, fab, uh, F-A-B, T-C-G dot uh, com. So uh, flesh and blood T-C-G. Uh, you will find all the information necessary there. All right, so now we're at the stage where we have a calling that has been announced for the USA, which will happen over a, uh, a five or six week period. There are some weeks, there are basically four, four of them. The very first one will be held in Las Vegas, Nevada, and that takes place between uh, September, the three day uh, happening. It's uh, September 10th to the 12th, I believe, yes, in uh, in Vegas, and that is at the Las Vegas uh, Convention Center. And what's really fun about this, this is in partnership with Channel Fireball, by the way, and what's really fun about these calling events is that they, uh, they will, they're so well organized. I mean, if you go and see the, ha have a look at the information, you'll see that there are, during those three days, a main event, and for the one in Las Vegas, it will be a, um, I believe it is a sealed, uh, a classic constructed, sorry, classic constructed, but however, Las Vegas is where there will be the world premiere of the 
um, of the launch of uh, kingdoms. And by the way, kingdoms in quotation marks, because that turns out was the code name. It uh, turns out that the name of the set is actually Tales of Aria. So Tales of Aria, A-R-I-A. And it seems that the uh, Ranger will be getting a uh, prominent, prominent spot in, uh, in that next set. Okay. So um, that's what happens in Vegas. Oh yeah, and what I really like about these is that not only do you have the main event, which will be in Vegas Classic Constructed, uh, you do have side games, you know, Blitz, Sealed, uh, uh, Classic. You have all kinds of side games going on and you can register for these events. They are they vary between $50 to $100, I believe. And if you pre-register, you'll get coupons that you can participate. I guess you get two coupons for a Sealed event, three coupons for another type of event. And what's really good about side games, just like they did in uh, with Magic the Gathering, they will have a prize wall, for example, and you play side events and you win some of those, you can pick out yourselves some uh, nice uh, gifts and prizes on the prize wall, from the prize wall, and that will obviously include, you know, promo cards, uh, play mats, and so on and so forth. And by the way, when you do register also for, for these uh, packages, you can, you know, select the package for the main event and uh, other things. You, you'll see, go see the website. Um, I don't want to... I can't start explaining everything here on camera, but uh, it's well detailed there. And uh, you also get promo cards and play mats for registering in that one package and so on. Like, there's a variety of packages. So this is what's really fun. And whether you're going to the Las Vegas Calling or the uh, the next one will be actually Dallas-Fort Worth. That is uh, in Fort Worth, uh, Fort Worth Convention Center. And that one is held between uh, in October. So October 15th to 17th. So a full month later. So... Um, so what I was about to say is that no matter which calling you go to, you will see similar structure, right? You have packages to participate. The main events in each are a little bit different. Like I mentioned in Las Vegas, it is a classic constructed. The uh, the other ones, uh, Fort Worth will, will actually, and also Orlando, which is the last one. By the way, Orlando is held in November, November 5th to uh, 7th. That one is also a classic constructed. And the, the ones in the middle actually, um, which will be um, Fort Worth, like I said, that's October 15th to 17th. That will be a uh, sealed draft. And so will be uh, Cincinnati, which is held between October 22nd and 24th. All right, so you've got four events there. And by the way, the Orlando one, what's really great about that one is that not, not only is it a calling event, it is also the national championships for the USA that will be held that same weekend. All right, prize pools. Uh, main event prize pools will uh, total about ten, well, ten thousand dollars per calling. So four times that, uh, and that uh, turns out to be prize pools. And uh, like I said, promo cards. Actually, you get if you win. There's another event called the uh, Pro Quest, and this is a different way of getting your yourself an invite to the to the higher tournaments, higher level tournaments. And uh, winners of Pro Quest, for example, these are like uh, high level side games. Um, will uh, get you a gold promo card if you win that of Arcanite Skullcap. So that's really interesting. Anyway, all kinds of gifts. Go have a look at what you uh, you can get and be involved in because obviously no use for me to talk individually about all four of them because you'll probably end up being able to go to one, maybe two. And, um, and yeah, so... Hopefully we'll see you. Let me tell you right now. So Josie and I, where are we going? We are going to the one in Cincinnati. So Cincinnati one is uh, at the Duke Center, uh, Convention Center, and um, we will be at that one. It's really great, actually. We will be on our way to the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas. And uh, we were leaving Montreal on the 20th, and guess what? It's a slight detour, but not much. Cincinnati's on our way, so October 22nd uh, to 24th uh, turns out perfect for us because we're on our way driving to Las Vegas. Big, long drive for us here from Montreal. But uh, we will stop in Cincinnati, and we will be there on the Friday night and the Saturday night. Uh, two nights, um, and leaving on Sunday during the day. I don't know. Anyway, so why I'm mentioning it to you is that I uh, we've had interactions with a lot of you, and it would be fun to at least meet some of you there. So at least now you know where we're going. So Cincinnati, October 9th, 29th, 22nd to 24th. That's the one we'll be at. The biggest one's a little too early. We're going the following month for the World Series of Poker, so that's kind of tough. And uh, And actually, we're not quite back for the Orlando one. We're back from the World Series of Poker in Florida um, around mid-November. So we're just going to miss the Orlando one. But anyway, I uh, hope to meet some of you in Cincinnati. And um, <clears throat> another great thing is uh, 
that they're going to have in each one of these callings is that not only do you have, like I talked about the wall of uh, the prize wall, but, um, you know, the side, uh, side tournaments, they'll have all kinds of, uh, of, uh, packages also that will, you'll be able to get involved in. I mean, it's like, uh, vendors, there'll be kiosks, you can trade, uh, sell, buy cards. I mean, everything that goes on in these, like this, these are mini conventions, basically. Uh, if you've, uh, attended, if you're a Magic the Gathering player and you've gone to some of these before, you'll know exactly what, uh, what I'm talking about because, uh, being partnered with Channel Fireball, there will be a certain resemblance, obviously different game, but, uh, the style and the way it's presented, uh, will have some similar factors. All right. So maybe we'll see you in uh, Cincinnati. If you have any questions about what's going on, um, not only can you go and watch and have a look at the site, but uh, feel free to uh, uh, shoot me an email or make a comment. I'll answer you and we'll get in touch and uh, we'll see uh, what's going on. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so that's about it for the calling. And um, by the way, this is like, like I said, every country, we don't uh, have one that's announced for Canada yet. So uh, we don't know what's going to happen. But basically every uh, country is getting their calling, supposedly. I don't know if it'll be the case, won't be the case until maybe next year where, where that is like better structured, you know, with COVID. Uh, they're having in the United States, basically their national championship like I said, in Orlando at the end of that calling, which is the fourth one on the list. So I don't know what's going on for the other countries yet, but stay tuned. Uh, we will mention it or go to the web uh, site of uh, Legend Store Studios. That's always a very good place to find out your information. All right, so that about covers it for the callings for those events. I uh, uh, hope uh, you're uh, you know, going to be part of this and having fun. And don't forget, Kingdoms is Tales of Aria. Aria, I should say. How do you pronounce that? Anyway, Aria, A-R-I-A, -A, just like the uh, hotel in Las Vegas, the Aria, that's it. So Tales of Aria. All right, so uh, looks like I got it now. All right, the last thing I wanted to talk about in this video was the uh, the administrative, how can I say that, the market aspect of what's going on with TCG games. Now, if you remember about three weeks ago, I came on camera and I talked to you guys about the fact that things go in cycles. I mean, things go up, things go down, and what what, my point was at that time is that a lot of the new investors, people that are in TCGs, uh, for, have been in, investing in general in the past 10, 12 years, have not seen any downturns. And that can be scary for those of you who have, but uh, who haven't yet, because, you know, the last big downturn we had, big one, I mean, was like 2008, about 12, 13 years ago when there was all that uh, crash of the... Uh, uh, markets and uh, you know what was going on in the states especially and we had a tough time then and then since since that time in the last 12 years you know um, things have been going up and investments have been easy to make I mean practically anything you'd invest in you have been investing in if you've uh, have so uh, whether it's crypto whether it's some uh, real estate whether it's a stock market whether it's TCGs whether it's uh, uh, precious metals I mean everything has gone up so it seems easy right well, wrong. I mean, I mentioned it in that video about three weeks ago, but now I have uh, something better to prove my point. You've seen now 30, depending on the which TCGs, if we get back to that, from 30 to 60% downturns in, you know, depending on which one you are talking about. And uh, and I was telling you that that is normal. It will happen. And you see, it, it is happening right now. And uh, there's no, uh, you know, the, the worst thing to do is panic in these situations. You do not panic. I mean, if you are into, for example, if you buy a stock on the stock market, right, it's because you believe in it and it's it's for the long term. And actually, when there's a dip, it's time to buy, right? Because you're going to dollar cost averaging. You're going to, if you're buying something at $100 and it goes down to $70 and you're buying the same amount of shares that you've bought before at $70, now you've brought down your average cost to $85. So when it does go back up, easier to make money. You make more profit uh, up off the upturn again, right? When, whenever that happens. So, um, so yeah, so if, if you had confidence, now I'm going to equate flesh and blood to the stock market for a second. Now, if you had, when you got into flesh and blood, if you in the same way had confidence in flesh and blood, like you did in that stock, that particular stock that you bought, well, there's no reason to uh, change your mind right now. Either you were, weren't, didn't know what you're getting into and you were like uh, flipping a coin or like taking a big risk or you believed in the product, and if that is so, well, if you believed in it then, why don't you, why wouldn't you believe in it now, 
right? So that's the whole point. Um, stick around to stick around, uh, buy more, or in this case, in the case of TCGs, you know, get your cards while they're cheap. They're uh, they're probably going to go back up, but it can be long. I mean, don't don't think that this will be in two months. Like in two months from now, Mark, what's going on? Haven't gone back up yet. It can take years. I mean, everything is cyclical. And but I can tell you one thing: things do go up. I always will remember my grandfather telling me a loaf of bread when I was a kid was 10 cents. Yeah, I mean, have you seen a loaf of bread? It doesn't exist anymore. Things, inflation, prices of anything, every product that exists on planet Earth, everything goes up and the prices will be up. I also remember Peter Lynch when we had that downturn in, um, in, 05, in 08 in the stock market. He says, I don't know which direction the stock market is going. I mean, it was down from... Uh, 17, 18,000, the Dow Jones I'm speaking about here, to about 7,000 at that time, lost more, more than 50%, about 60%. He says, all I know is that it's not going to zero. And I can tell you one thing, it will be 20,000, the Dow Jones, before it's zero, right? <laughs> In other words, it will eventually be 20,000. I just don't know when. Oh, well, by the way, uh, the Dow Jones has hit 35,000 lately. So as you can see, cycles sometimes can be long, but... Um, that's why they're called cycles. There are ups, there are downs, and that's just the way life is. So I wanted to mention this because I know a lot of you, uh, especially if you're in late 20s or even in your 30s, if you're under 40, basically, that's 12, 13 years, you were like uh, seven, uh, 27 at that time, getting started in, invest in investing. I mean, anybody below 40, can I can understand that you guys have rarely seen downturns and uh, are a little uh, wondering what's happening here. No, nothing to worry about. Just... Uh, you know, place your eggs in the right baskets and uh, have confidence and uh, <clears throat> things will uh, eventually get better. And, and obviously, you're not supposed to be, like I like to say also, you're not supposed to do this uh, discretionary investments until you are in life uh, able to do so. I mean, when you have extra money, I've talked about this before. You're, you're, you're filling your 401ks first. You're, you're investing. You're making sure you have... Uh, you have your next uh, six months worth of, of money that you'll need uh, to live off. Uh, you're making sure, you know, you're setting your priorities in order. And when uh, discretionary money comes along, that's when you go into crypto and TCGs. Uh, big, I mean, when you do it big. You can you can uh, uh, do it just for the, the sake of collecting or just uh, wanting to play the game and, you know, have a small budget of uh, three, four, five hundred dollars a year. That, that's fine. But what I, what I mean by investing i mean putting a lot of money into the product like buying sealed and uh, and so on and so forth and uh, having having a reserve and bu buying it like you would do gold silver or other investables uh, collectibles uh, paintings art uh, you name it there are so many but uh like i said in a previous video i wouldn't get involved in those unless you have your using discretionary money because uh you, you know you, you can't be uh, counting on this to live it has to be something that you can just let live let there uh, you can leave it there and wait till the cycle is right and uh that you're in a peak that you uh can now sell and actually in those troughs that's the time where you want to increase your positions and uh you know anyway i could go on and on about this i don't know how long this video is by now but i just wanted to uh reassure those of you who think that uh you know this is the end of the world uh prices are going down no i mean uh it's just uh, normal cycles. Uh, you, uh, of course, if you're impatient, it's just like somebody who retires, you know, when the stock market is down. That's why as you get older, you know, your percentage of, uh, of money in the stock market in terms of uh, stocks and bonds has to uh, fluctuate, has to be uh, adjusted. Because what if you're 100% invested in the stock market and uh, next year is the year you're 65 and you're retiring and there's a plunge of 50%. If you need to dip into that money and uh, you're using, you're having to sell uh, stocks that are depleted or have gone down heavily, you don't want to need to do that. So you always need to have the money that's in the uh, it's an actual stocks has to be money that you do not need for at least five years, at least ideally uh, eight to ten or eight, eight to twelve even. All right. Otherwise, the money that you be, you need before that in five years or less should be in more secure types of investments. But like I said, I mean, I could go on and on about this because I do uh, I do really like uh, investing and uh, getting involved in the uh, stock market. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so I uh, hope uh, you've taken something away from this video. Um, 
it was a pleasure to see you again. Um, waiting for your answers, you guys. Which ones of you want to get involved in uh, Case Breaks again? Uh, let me know, and uh, we'll see you soon for some other uh, Flesh and Blood videos and other also. So until our next one, stay safe out there. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up, and we do appreciate all you guys being subscribed very much to our fabulous channel. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.